Hey guys, Kronos here and welcome to another walkthrough of The Walking Dead. This is episode 3. So let's just get on with the game. Episode 3, The Long Road Ahead. Continue. Alright, so I know that some of you guys were kind of surprised that I actually chose to basically steal the, the food that were in that abandoned car. And... Uh, well, when I play this game, I'm just trying to put myself in the shoes of survivors that basically face life and death choices, options, situations at every moment. And although we like to think that we're good people, and most of us probably are, I don't think that you could continue to survive if you try to live your life the way you're living right now in a situation of a zombie apocalypse, for example. So hence the reason why I took it. So I'm a bad guy. <laughs> All right, so are we still in Macon? It looks like we are. Looks like this is our lucky day. Hmm. I hope so. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. I really like the uh, art style of this game. It's like watching real life comics I was never a big fan of comics but there was some that I really enjoyed it and I don't know it's just cool oh, man. Lee where do you come down on staying or going you mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV yeah we've been talking about it but you made up your mind yet we should go we should go Motels run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. I don't think anywhere, anywhere else is going to be, you know, safe, per se, but... We could always find a better okay, situation. just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> the downside of small town? Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Alright, so... Probably couldn't climb that. It's... Yeah, you couldn't. Yep, that's done for. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. So... They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Let me see. Huh. A lot of things to look at, but useless. Push this a winch? Alright, so I can't push the jeep, but I don't know, the winch kind of looked interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like it still works. So. Lily's not doing so good, huh? <laughs> well, we killed her dad. <laughs> we did kill her dad. We did kill her dad. That was bad. I mean, it wasn't like we had much choice, but oh geez, I should have turned this to chat. Alright, uh, sorry about that, guys. All right, and what good would that There's do? There's no safe way through that mess. All right, so what next? Oh, so basically, just yeah, get the truck. Yeah, get the jeep pulled over to the trailer so that you could. The girl's still upset with you for agreeing to yeah, take that stuff jump from on the station it. wagon. I think 
she understands. Hope so. Not like we had much choice. Right. Yeah, tough to teach kids about morality when you have to survive with pretty much everything that's that you have, you know. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. Well, he's just a child, but it yeah, was his sure fault. you up for this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! Oh, they made a lot of noise. Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. <sighs> alive and brings them all out of their holes. Oh man, you can't let someone be eaten alive. You gotta put her out of misery. I mean, that's just... One thing to take someone else's food, I mean, you know, just leaving someone like that, uh, I don't think I could do that. Uh, she's already bit and she's gonna get eaten alive, you know? I mean, how terrible is that? Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Every action, whether it's good or bad, I mean, comes at a price, you know. All right, so let's take all the food. Fast, fast. So I mean, I guess small towns. The good thing would be that there will be less people, so obviously less zombies, less competing, less competition for all these goods, but same time you have limited resources I don't know well, which will be better like, Fuck. incoming come on Lee escaping over. to bigger cities or going to the countryside I mean eventually I guess We're still clear let's hustle oh So Kenny's not going anywhere. It's helping. Fridge. Ooh. Now, let's fucking get out. Oh shit. I have to act on it. I have no idea. Oh damn it! I was too late. I thought it was a cutscene. I 
can't take it. <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! Where are you? Kenny on the rescue. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think most of us just couldn't do that. You know, leaving someone behind like that. I guess if you live in a situation like this for like several years, you get hardened, and you most likely could do something more, even harsher. But these people haven't been in this situation for too long to be that hardened. I think. Obviously, I haven't been in a situation like this for real, so I don't know. I just couldn't You're back. do that to her. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. <laughs> so, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet that's holes. That's true, we have to go. We got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. And that's all beside the fact that Macon is busting at the seams with walkers. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. But he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. It can't be you versus us, Lily. We're sorry for what happened to your dad, but we're in this together now. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What about it. medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Instead of what? Letting her suffer? I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know?! I know you're not above murder. 
I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Well, it's understandable from Lilith's standpoint, I mean. Her dad really, uh... Yeah, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. And you could argue all you want, but, you know, we did put a final nail in the coffin. <laughs> to her dad, so yeah, very, very much understandable. It's Lily's room. Yes, let's go talk to her. She's not gonna trust. I'm sorry. Trust me anymore. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I do anything for you? Haven't you... No. <laughs> yes. I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. I mean, she could be talking out of her ass, really. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. <laughs> That's Robin. I know who it is. Play along, Lee. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Children are not good, that good at keeping their mouth shut. Not that adults are any better, but keep them on your side if you can shut them up, you know? As far as Lily is concerned, um, like I said, she could be talking out of her ass, but... At this point, you cannot completely ignore her because that could completely make her lose it. Uh, let's talk to her. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you too. Oh man, I can't. 
I gotta be asking these questions to everybody. Thanks, Lily. Oh, Jesus. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, Claire. <laughs> okay. That's, that's really cute. Alright, so I gotta go around, walk around, blaming people for stuff that they haven't done. And yeah, this. What is it? Nothing. Alright, is this Kenny? Oh, Kenny's wife. Alright. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. I'll talk to you later. Those periods of adjustments, huh? Hi, guys. Hi, Lee. That's the same deal. Okay, let's see. Got nothing on this side, and uh, well. sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, let's talk to the kid. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... <laughs> Just the flashlight honest. was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. The kid got a little sensitive about the whole flashlight deal, huh? I would think it could be nothing. It's really easy to make something out of nothing, you know? There's some broken glass on the ground there. Hmm. So it matches. And there's an axe. Like a sign. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Duck. A clue. 
Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. It looks like Duck is smarter than Lee. Oh, because Clementine has pink. She's drawing with a pink crayon or whatever. So now she'll get the blame. Yes. Let's go ask Clementine about this whole deal. What have you done, girl? Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. So someone took it. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Dude, you gotta be a little more appreciative. The kid's doing all the work. Alright, what do you want? What the hell was that? More chalk. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No, Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Yeah, I believe him when he says that. Alright, nothing yet. 